Hey guys, tonight's movie review is for Ant-Man, starring Paul Rudd, Evangeline Lilly, and Michael Douglas. A little bit about this movie, this is another foray into the Marvel Universe. This time, the lead character is Paul Rudd, who plays Scott, and Scott is a guy who's recently gotten out of prison, and he's trying to turn his life around and be able to spend some more time with his daughter. So near the beginning of the movie, he gets involved with some of, you know, a shady crowd, one of his old friends from prison and some other guys, to try to do this big score so that he'll have enough money to be able to take care of everything he needs to take care of and see his daughter. Um, so he goes through this process of breaking into um, a, a vault in this old man's house and instead of finding money and jewelry and all that kind of stuff he finds a suit and he takes that suit and he learns that the person behind the suit is Dr. Pym played by Michael Douglas and this suit is no ordinary suit it's something that Dr. Pym had created um, about 30 years ago and it has all these super abilities it can shrink a man down to the size of an ant and gives him all of the power that an ant would have. The fact that they can carry 50 times their weight and they can get into all these small spaces. It's, it's kind of like, you know, this huge package in a tiny package. This, this huge powerful thing in a tiny package. And um, Dr. Pym kind of gave up on this technology in this suit and retired unfortunately there are other people at Pym Industries which is the company that he created and they are trying to do kind of a suit of their own they do a lot of testing and have finally figured out a way to make it happen um, and in between Pym, Pym's company and Dr. Pym himself he has someone working for him on the inside and that's his daughter Hope played by Evangeline Lilly. And so she's not incredibly happy with her dad, but she's still helping to try to stop this other suit from being made. And so is Paul Rudd's character, Scott. And that's kind of what the movie's about without getting too much into it, but you've got Scott in the Ant-Man costume. You've got this these people trying to create this other costume that's just like the Ant-Man costume. But they're not use, they're not planning on using it for any good purposes, and so Scott's trying to stop them, and that's kind of what this movie's about. Um, as far as getting into the movie, whether it was good or bad, um, I thought the acting was pretty good. That was pretty much the only saving grace about this movie. I have to admit, I wasn't really looking forward to it. I didn't have really high expectations going in. I wasn't really impressed by the trailer. Um, so it wasn't as bad as I thought it was going to be. But saying that, the story was incredibly boring. Um, in the middle of the movie, it just completely lost my, my attention. Um, and even when the action started back up again, it just, I'd been kind of dormant for so long in the middle of the movie that it was hard to like pick up and care about what was going on as, as the action kind of upswept. Um, also the CGI, I thought was really, really subpar in this. I mean, there are things that I have seen that they're trying to do with the ants that I had seen done better, you know. 30 years ago and Honey, I Shrunk the Kids. It just was not really good quality, not up to par with other Marvel movies and their CGI. And I thought the story really fell flat in comparison with some of the other Marvel movies. To me, this one's kind of a throwaway. Um, just kind of, oh, what's another superhero we can throw on the wall and see if it sticks? And for this one, it really doesn't stick for me. I'm going to give this a C-. Um, is it the worst movie ever? No. Um, are you going to be just terribly disappointed? You'll, you'll probably be disappointed. You'll be like, meh. 
a not as good as a lot of the other Marvel movies that have come out recently. So that's all I've got. It's a C- minus for tonight. I really wouldn't rush out and go see this. I don't think it's worth it. I think it's one of the weaker Marvel projects, but that's my opinion. Um, I'd love to know your thoughts. If you are looking forward to Ant-Man or if you're a fan of the comics, I'd love to hear that below. Or if you've seen this movie, what are your thoughts? Do you think it stacks up? against the Avengers, Iron Man, some of the other movies in the Marvel Universe series. And yeah. Also, if you like this and you'd like to see more, I would super appreciate it if you would subscribe below. It would make my night and my week and my month. <laughs> Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you have a great night. Bye.